But I want to tell you how I got into Scientology. This is a very interesting story. Okay, go on. Okay, so I did not have any friends or family members that were in Scientology. It was uh, 2014, and it was a low point in my life. Um, not low as in, you know, I've never had a drug problem or drinking problem, but it was just a low point. I had actually lost my home in California just because it just got too expensive and crazy. Um, and I had lost my sister, you know, to a hair overdose. I lost my father to congestive heart failure. And then my brother also suffered a severe stroke. So to really sum it up, there was a lot of loss and a lot of confusion. And mm -hmm. this is so crazy. So I go to sleep one night and I had, like, I had this crazy dream. Um, in my dream, I'm standing there and all of a sudden Tom Cruise walks up and he's in a black shirt and jeans. And there's like this glowing light behind him. And he walks up to me and he's like, hey, you know, I think you need some help. Do you want me to help you? And he reached out his hand and grabbed my hand and we were holding hands. And I was like in my dream, I'm thinking, oh, okay, I'm holding hands with Tom Cruise, all right. Um, he's like, I'm going to help you. And I was like, okay. And then the next thing I remember, you know how dreams are, like they never really make sense. So the glowing yeah. light, the glowing light stops and Tom's holding my hand. And he walks me kind of across like to this area that looked like a giant greenhouse. And there are all these people walking around and they were walking around like really fast. And one of them comes down a little flight of stairs and she says, you know, hi, you know, all right, I'm going to take Katie away now. And then in my dream, Tom looks at me and he goes, all right, if you need any help, let me know. I'll be here. And then he disappeared. Hmm. And I woke up and I was like, what in the world? I'm thinking, okay, well, did I like just watch like a Tom Cruise movie or something? And not that I remember. Mm. Um, so, but he left you. He said, I'll, I'll be here. He, and then he, he instantly disappeared. With, well, he left me with all the Scientologists. Like I knew what they were. He's like, but, you know, they're going to help mm. you. I was like, all right. And I knew what it was. Cause they said, you know, we're Scientology. I was like, okay. And I had not thought about Scientology before that. And like I said, I didn't have, I wasn't raised in it. I didn't have friends or family or anybody in it. And it was just at the, at one of the lowest points in my life, I literally dreamed about Tom Cruise bringing me into Scientology in my dream. And there I was. And then after they, the Scientologist came down to get me, it was just like, I woke up and it was mm. just, I remember waking up and feeling warm and I don't know, just feeling like an extreme amount of like love. And I was like, mm. this is ridiculous. Like what? just happened yeah, and it took, but, took me a little while to actually go into scientology from there but i did yeah but katie you you you're aware of some of the ways that tom cruise has behaved over the years surely well, you know he I, made he made his ex-girlfriend scrub the bathroom with a toothbrush that kind of thing well he didn't make her do that you know he didn't make her do any of that katie. like he didn't no he didn't she did make it of her, her own volition well, I mean, what, listen, that I was not in Scientology. I don't know exactly what went down with that, but some of the things that he's done as far as out publicly, I love, honestly, Andrew, I loved it when he jumped on Oprah's couch. I thought, man, mm. I hope that there's a man one day that's so excited about dating me that he's going to jump around like that. Like, I, I loved yeah. it. I, I absolutely love And the interview that he did with... Um, but Katie uh, Holmes didn't enjoy it very much, did she? I mean... She was there. She, to she was. She, well, she when that uh, interview. A bit of Oprah, she. Here's the thing. Like this again. This is my opinion. You know. I. I hope that you know Tom doesn't get mad and you know think why is she speaking for me. You know Tom can speak for himself, but I just believe that Katie Holmes was never really into Scientology, and by the time Surrey was going to start getting auditing, it was probably going to be discovered that Katie was not on board with it. So. I think she really just made a choice like, you know, I'm not really into this and I'm just going to take my daughter and I'm going to leave. You know, I don't mm -hmm. think that I don't think Katie Holmes really had a lot of affinity for Scientology. I just I think that no. she was she I do believe she really did love him. And I know that the relationship is real. Like I can tell that it's real. But I think over time, um, because she really wasn't invested in it. Um, maybe like, let's say the way I am, um, that relationship was never going to work without her mm. really, truly 
loving Scientology, you know, because you can't separate Tom and Ty and Scientology. It's all one. It's like one yeah. giant piece of cake and you either love it or you don't, you know, he's wasn't never it a bit weird though. Katie, wasn't it weird mm -hmm. when she, um, that he got Scientology to look for a girlfriend for him, you know, spent years looking for a girl. You know, I get the impression you wouldn't have minded if it was you. I mean, I, wouldn't mind if it was me. your... I mean, we don't <laughs> we don't know exactly. I mean, listen, I, I feel like, you know, it, it, it's difficult for Tom to date, I think, because he doesn't have a lot of time and he can't exactly go on Tinder and be like, hey, you know, this is what I want. So. Uh, to me, it kind of makes sense. Um, and I'm not saying that they found him a girlfriend or not. I wasn't there mm. when all that went down. You know he did. Um, you know, I think, honestly, I just, I think he just doesn't, how's he going to date? I mean, seriously, Andrew, how's he, how's he going to, he's got to be specific about what he wants, you know? Like well, he he's, wants... been, he's on films with famous actresses all the time, but they but all speak all out about his weird behavior. But they're no, they don't. The actresses they love working with him. Emily Blunt oh. loves working with was, him. She said he was very intense, and it was very. He difficult. is intense. He isn't. No, Emily Blunt. I, well, <laughs> well, I think that's the. It's not Tom that's that's making it intense. I mean, think of if you've ever made a movie, and I've made a movie. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of hours, and it's a lot of stress, and there's a lot of money on the line. There's millions of dollars that Tom is responsible for. So he really needs to run a very tight ship. I mean, let's be honest. Like, you know, the studio is going to – who do you think the studio is going to blame if it goes over budget? They're not going to blame the actress. They're going to they're gonna blame Tom. So he yeah. has to run a tight ship. And I think if you – He has gone over really, budget, by the way. In his last Mission he? Impossible films, he's like <laughs> tripled the budget. But he's in charge, so he can just do whatever right. he wants. He, it's like – he produces million. them, so you know. He does. Um, He's totally in charge now. But a lot of the actresses have loved working for him. You know, I mean, if you if you were to interview, you know, Annabelle Wallace, Emily Blunt, um, just a lot of them love it. It's a it's a great experience because if you're working with Tom on a movie set, um, you're getting like a lot of training too. Like you're 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 getting training on how to make movies. It's not just about I'm an actress and you're an actor and let's get together and say these lines and see how it goes. No, like with Tom, it's like a whole like school of how to make movies, how to do how to do effects, how to do stunts. Um, he's aware and involved in in every element of the making of that movie. Are you going to get in trouble for? T am I am I a suppressive person? I mean. I don't think that you are, but honestly, I think if you went into Scientology, you'd probably like it. And I know that goes against your entire, like, yeah, your entire show. But I truly think that if you went in, you would realize that it is not um, what you may have going on in your mind. Like they that they brainwash you and they tell you what to do and they tell you who to date and what to eat and you know all of that. And none of that is true. Like I said, they've never told me to do anything.